so hello i'm emma the biodiversity officer here at the heart of england forest part of my role is managing the grasslands here at the heart of england forest so that includes the woodland rides and also our grazing pastures so i work with local farmers and we have graziers who come in with their livestock as well so most of you probably know us because of our woodlands, our woodland creation, but we also manage a mosaic of habitats, including a variety of grasslands. Um, so that's to do with my role. So I would look at different types of grassland, how we can manage that using different types of livestock. So certain areas might prefer cattle to be on there, certain areas would benefit from sheep. Um, so there's a lot to, to have a look at in terms of managing our grasslands to benefit our wildlife and the environment as well. We own and manage our own livestock. So we have over 150 cattle. So we have Longhorn cattle and Herefords. And we also have a flock of 80 sheep, which include our Jacob sheep and Hebridean sheep. And we also work with local farmers to help graze different areas of our forest so the farm, local farmers have areas to graze and it benefits the wildlife as well as our local farmers and their livestock too. It's important for us when we're managing our grasslands that we protect the habitat and the wildlife that surrounds it, which is why we use a method called conservation grazing. What this means is thousands and thousands of years ago we would have had large mammals roam in the landscape naturally which became extinct. We use livestock that we have today to act as proxies for their ancestors that would have roamed the landscape thousands of years ago. One of our areas known as Netherstead, um, we've created a wetland area around there and we're currently using one of our local farmers who grazes some of his longhorn cattle on there. So what happens with the wetland area there, the cattle will go in, they will what we call poach the ground. So those big footprints that you see of livestock in the in the mud, that creates a really lovely microhabitat for our invertebrates and the birds will come and also you know, eat those invertebrates, so it creates a domino effect for our wildlife. So that's one benefit. What can happen is the cattle can create muddy margins, which is great for invertebrates. It's great for things like butterflies. Also, different livestock, the way they eat, also has an effect on the grassland. So sheep eat what we call a close crop, so they eat very close to the ground, and they are more selective eaters than cattle. Cattle are what we call less selective, so sheep tend to go more for the flowers, whereas cattle will eat the harsher grasses as well. So if the grass is too long, what can happen is those tall grasses will dominate the wild flowers. Without grassland management or grazing, what can happen is the grass can grow really tall and then what happens is the taller grasses outcompete other flowers such as our wildflowers and then that creates less biodiversity within the grassland, within the wildlife, within the habitat. That's why conservation grazing is important because we can manage and protect the habitat and create a more diverse sward which leads to increased biodiversity. When you're out enjoying the forest, please be mindful of our wildlife and our livestock in terms of keeping your dogs under control and again being aware that there may be livestock that you can't see that your dog can see and hear. For more information about the Heart of England Forest and our conservation efforts, please go to our website at theheartofenglandforest.org. Thank you.